cruise news time and well we've, we've got a doozy of a show today uh, coming to you live from new york city as it were uh, first there is an update on the missing cruiser the cruiser that went missing in san francisco also princess coming out with a big announcement for lovers of the solar eclipse and and i think we have to outlaw april fool's pranks because a carnival april fool prank has made people lose their mind Cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for your face. Uh, I'm here to talk about everything going on in cruising. It's the one hand cruising because I didn't charge the mic yet. This is a uh, look. I'm on a whirlwind 23 day adventure to the Netherlands, to Holland. That, and I, I'm, I'm struggling as a YouTuber this morning here in New York City. I did fly into New York. I got to the hotel about 8 p.m. last night. I was able to grab some dinner. And uh, yeah, now I'm just waiting to board the Holland America Rotterdam. But that's neither here nor there. I'll share more with you about that as time goes on. But first, let's uh, talk cruise news. Cruise news story number one. The cruiser that went missing in San Francisco was located yesterday around noon. They found her on some random street. They said she was okay. It didn't look like there was any foul play involved. Honestly, there wasn't a lot of detail as to why she went missing and why she missed the cruise ship. Uh, but that's what happens. Maybe, who knows? We would only be speculating. Hopefully more information will come out beyond that. But at least this person has been found and it's not something darker than that. Cruise news story number two, Princess Cruise Line is altering the itinerary of a future Emerald Princess cruise so that passengers on board can be positioned perfectly to see a total solar eclipse. Nothing I could do, it's a total eclipse of the sun. This is going to happen on April the 8th, 2024, when a total solar eclipse lasting as long as 4 minutes and 28 seconds will be visible as the moon's shadow is cast across parts of North America. Apparently, the view at sea is going to be great. Princess did something similar during the last eclipse, and it sold out. Everybody was into it. And so that's my message to lovers of the eclipse. You may already be on this Emerald Princess cruise, uh, but if not, go look for the Emerald Princess cruise that will be part of the solar eclipse this might be the last one visible from north america until 2044 i thought you weren't supposed to look directly at the sun i think they they have tools for that or something have you ever seen a total solar eclipse i remember was it a solar eclipse when i was living in charlotte the, there was some solar eclipse and everybody went down to columbia south carolina i don't know i'm, I'm not up on my astronomy how about that? I, I'm not up on my astrology either, but it, I've always wondered. So my birthday's on the 22nd of August, which means I'm a Virgo Leo. Last day of Virgo, first day of Leo. I'm a Virgo with a Leo rising. I don't know what that means. Mr. Mojo rising. Man, I'm excited to get on this cruise ship to date. All right. So now I, I've got to tell you about the Carnival April Fool's Day prank gone awry. But before I do that, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, I got to charge the mic. It's not the same when I have to cruising. Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Thank you in advance. I also have a bonus story. Let me tell you about this. MSC is getting ready to launch their new luxury brand called Explorer Journeys. That's the name of the brand. And they've named a godmother. And it's not like one of these, you know, normal celebrity godmother namings. They're actually naming Dr. Sylvia Earle who is an oceanographer, an explorer, and a conservationist. She will be the godmother of the very first ship in the Explorer Journey line. I think it's cool because these luxury ships that MSC are building are kind of smaller ships, potentially expedition cruise ships. And I think it's neat that they're tapping into somebody that has such a rich history with oceans. Let's say the name one more time, Dr. Sylvia Earle. How about that? How about that? All right, let me tell you about the Carnival stuff. Carnival cruisers are upset because they have been told that Carnival Cruise Line will start charging for the condiment bar at Guy's Burgers. 
that means a charge for every tomato that means a charge for every pickle that means a charge for every onion uh i was gonna say it means a charge for every sauteed mushroom and every piece of bacon however doesn't exist on the guy's condiment bar anymore tony from the edit here uh two things number one i've been referring to the guy's toppings bar as a condiment bar and uh, if that's got anybody upset i just want to preemptively apologize i'm sorry about that uh, the more i kept saying condiments the more it sounded good to me what's your favorite topping on guy's topping bar and look uh i got some sweet topping bar b-roll uh from from doug parker doug thank you you're welcome so there's Doug over there. And uh, yeah, so how about that? I got friends in high places. I mean, we're on the third floor of this hotel, but it's like high places. All right, uh, back to the back to the story. It's about to get serious. But I don't know, somebody, whether, you know, I don't know if it was a YouTube video or if it was a written article or somebody posted on April Fool's that Carnival Cruise Line would be charging for the condiment bar on Guy's Burgers and the gullibility of the masses kicked in and this thing spread like wildfire through social media. People, you know, decrying the nickel and diming of cruising and, and not even checking the date. And uh, it, this is not true. This is not true. There's not going to be a charge for condiments on the guy's burger condiment bar. I, I was talking, so I'm, I'm in New York with Doug Parker from Cruise Radio. OMG, Tony, stop dropping names. We know you're there with Doug Parker. I was talking with him last night. Like, maybe there should just be a moratorium. Anybody that makes content that people somewhat take seriously Maybe there should be a moratorium on these April Fool's Day pranks, because what I know from my own experience, and I saw it even with yesterday's video, you know, yesterday's video was about a woman going missing in San Francisco, a cruiser going missing in San Francisco. I had several comments like, well, maybe she fell off the ship. And it's like, oh, so obviously you just read the title, made up your own story and went with it. And I think that's the challenge that we have in the, in the society today. And the question becomes... Uh, who's the onus on? Is the onus on the person that's consuming the content to actually understand what they consume? Or is it OK for people to go off willy nilly and, you know, just take one blurb of information and run with it? Or is the onus on the person that's creating the content to I don't know, make it perfectly clear. It's a conundrum. It's the ebb and flow, I guess, of content creation. But um, please, people. Please, if, if you hear something as crazy as Carnival is going to charge for the condiments on the very included guy's burger bar, uh, maybe let your, you know, deductive reasoning kick in a little bit and go, oh, why? That seems weird. Why would that be true? I don't know. What, what do you think? How do we solve this? How do we solve the issues of I don't even care, really? I mean, I want society to be fine. But today I'm just excited to get on the Holland America Rotterdam and look at New York from a from a ship. <sighs> How, are you guys doing all right? How, all right. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.